この夏は一生忘れないと思うそそう天野さんのいつもの夏に比べたらだいぶしょぼくなるんじゃないおSo another week, another episode of A Couple of Cuckoos, and I have to let you guys know up front, I was a little bit of a sour grape this episode, up about till the end of the episode, and I can specifically tell you the moment it happened too, up until about the 15 minute mark, uh, I was a little bit about, maybe about the 14 minute mark, I was a little bit of a sour grape for those 14 minutes. Now, I do think that this episode was incredibly cute and just incredibly festive, I love our traditional festival episodes, school trip episodes, beach episodes, you know, uh, I, bath scene episodes. Like, I love them, and I totally eat them up, and I think that they are a mainstay in anime, and they are simply required. But my main problem is I think, and again, remember, I, I have to always... PSA this because there's always someone like I review episodes and I do them on an episode basis. I'm not speaking about the whole anime when I say this. I think the episode sucked it up a little bit. It sucked a little bit only from this fact and it changed, okay? So my overall opinion changed, but it sucked it up a little bit because I think the episode I know they were trying to do all this false buildup. I think it would have been better served if we just picked up from last week. I personally hate, and I hate this in anime, movies, manga, video games. I hate when we build up this huge moment, and then the next scene, or the next thing, or the next episode, the next chapter, the next arc, whatever it is, doesn't give you closure to the thing that they built up for. So last week's episode, we got all the way in, and we had Sagawa <gasps> getting surprised at the fact that Sachi was the sister of Erika, and Sachi's now the sister of Nagi. Or I guess Nagi went first, and then Erika. And when we opened up the episode, we got that huge bomb. We opened up this episode, cutting away to Erika and Nagi having a good time at the festival. Totally cool. Like, I'm completely okay with the turn of events. But I think the last five to seven minutes would have been much better. And then kind of like, I, I would have just loved to see it reorganized. Now, at the end of the day, I can't do that. It's never going to happen. The episode just is what it is. Uh, I really, like I said, I really love the cuteness of this episode. I thought it was extremely cute. I love that uh, Erica would never win at the Squid Games because she did awful. Not only did she do pretty awful at the Goldfish when they have, like, the little cracker that they have to kind of, like, you know, lick and then kind of do the little cracker stuff. Like, she totally failed that. So I was like, yo, you would be dead, homegirl. Like, don't play the Squid Games, even if it, be, even if it comes to your town. But uh, I love that the date was really, really cute. I love that Erica was all fired up about winning first place. I love that her and Nagi spent time together. I didn't love, and I don't necessarily love, like, I, I don't love when they hype this this specific thing up, and that's, like, her famousness. I understand that she is, like, I guess you could call it, like, an Instagram, like, I guess Instagram model, Insta model, or whatever, but the fact is, like, she's at the festival, and, like, like you have hordes of people recognizing her. I'm like, eh, eh. I know people, like, that are pretty well off on Instagram. It doesn't work that way. Like, yes, maybe you get the onesie twosie recognition every now and then, but like really it's not going to work that way. No one's going to recognize your ass, but I appreciate that they try and push that. It's just like, mm, it's not really, it's not really how it happens. Uh, one of the things I noted too is like, I'm, I'm waiting for the point to where Nagi just begins calling Erica, Erica instead of Amino. Like, I think that they're at the point of comfortability to where he should call her, uh, that he should call her Erica. And I'm waiting for that moment to happen. And I think it probably won't happen until kind of like that switch gets turned on in his brain, uh, you know, for love potentially. But I'm, I'm waiting for that to happen. Uh, then we also have the scene where we talk about Nagi and um, Nagi and Sachi and how he finally saw Sachi. And I really love the moments that were shared with Sachi because she's very protective over her brother. Like, she wants to, you know, talk about him and complain about him and all these things. But at the end of the day, like, she's like, like, she told her friends literally, she's like, I want to be the one to do that. I don't want others to talk about him that way. Like, that's reserved for me. And I like how her friends called her out of, like, you know, the whole brother complex stuff. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty much, that's pretty spot on. 
Uh, then we had, you know, obviously we had the the moments that were shared with Nagi and uh, Erica, and they were, you know, kind of eating behind the the festivals, which was really weird. Uh, and then we kind of cut to the the fireworks stuff, and um, one of the things that I really liked right before the fireworks went off is when they had ran away from her followers or whatever. Uh, she, Erica had said the specific thing that she had Googled summer festivals, and today she was able to experience everything that she Googled. And in that moment, like something kind of like sparked in Nagi, and I was like, "Oh, is this a moment that homeboys falling in love with her?" I was like, "This is cool." Uh, that you know, she's she's basically hinting at Nagi being existent, her being with him, and all this thing is really what made this something special and a summer that she'll never forget and i think nagi's beginning kind of piece those things together even though he's dense and he's still dumb and stupid and everything like okay he's kind of like starting to piece that together i think something even subconsciously is beginning to kind of like spark there which is really good conversely though the nail in the coffin that kind of like ends that for the moment is uh you know they you know sagawa ends up coming onto the scene and we see the whole Sagawa stuff happen. And they end up, you know, for, they run away first. And then they end up deciding, like, hey, we're just going to tell her the truth. Which I was like, yes, that's exactly what needs to happen. Because I was like, if you don't, I was like, don't do this. Don't try, don't run away and not tell. Like, you just tell her what's up. Have somebody on your on your team that knows exactly what's going on. Like, you just be up front with her. Like, stop being around the bush. I was like, please don't do this anime thing. Thankfully, they did tell her the truth. Um, and then, you know, they, Sagawa's cool with it, whatever. She's like, I have secrets, too. Amino finds out, you know, Erica finds out her secret about her fiance, and then we have the ending scene where uh, her and uh, then with Sagawa and Nagi, and uh, Sagawa kind of holds on to to Nagi, uh, and I, you know, at that moment I literally yelled, "Hug her, hug her," you know, and I hate how Nagi's so uh, timid, you know, when with her specifically, uh, and. He didn't do really anything, but he did say, you know, I don't have any more lies, which I was like, that's a lie, bro. You live with, you live with, uh, with Erica. You like, this is your moment to get everything out there. And if Sagawa says, okay, and chooses to be like cool with it, then that's it. But he's going to have one more lie come out, which is going to kick him in the ass and bite him in the ass later. Uh, then obviously the, the end of the episode was Sachi saw them. So is what it is. I think that I think she needs to have her heart crushed so that she can give up on it so that she can just be the sister, not the brother complex one. So that's my thoughts. This episode is pretty good, but really frustrating at the same time. Glad that they brought it home. Uh, overall, another good episode of Couple of Cuckoos. Uh, my friends, I'll see you guys next week. Let me know what your thoughts are. Comments down below. And I'll see you guys next Saturday. Peace. <laughs>